This is Justin Germino here to talk to you about Microsoft OneNote. So I was using Microsoft OneNote, which comes in Office 2010, to create a trip book for 24 hours in Agra, India. I want to basically create a note journal of every place I want to visit, restaurants I want to eat at, where to stay, etc. I'm putting together a vacation and I want to know where I want to stay and I want to keep a collection of all my notes in one place. With Microsoft OneNote, you basically have free control to put information anywhere on the page, plus the page is as big as you want it to be, whether it's vertical or horizontal. With Microsoft OneNote, you could create separate tabs or sub-pages inside a page, link them all together, title them. It doesn't just take text. You can literally put images, video, uh, links, uh, freehand draw, create uh, shapes, highlight, use arrows. You could clip web pages and insert them into OneNote via snippet and OneNote will automatically link and include the credit with the link back to the website you snipped the information from. This way you can go back and, and collect more information directly on the website. For example, I was doing a review of the Route Restaurant in India and collecting more information on it and they had an online coupon and I noticed they had that. So I just clipped the online coupon information from the website for Route Restaurant India and I put it in OneNote and OneNote include the link so that later I can just go back and click on it and print out the coupon when I went to Agra, India. Other things are, I took sample uh, images and photos uh, from the restaurant, uh, from the Taj Mahal, and I included them in OneNote. I basically used it as a journal or as a, a book, and that's why it's called a trip book. I created separate tabs of all the different activities I want to do, such as uh, one tab that broke down 24 hours and things to do, another tab for places to stay, another tab for places to eat, another tab for the attractions and sites to visit. You can size pages, you can print out your one notes and select paper for letter or legal size. You can conform the pages to be whatever size you want, but you don't have to. You can leave them completely open. Unlike a word processor, you can literally click anywhere on the page and put text, images, video, or whatever you want on any section of the page. Like the rest of the Microsoft Office suite, you can have a ribbon bar at the top, which allows you to do formatting, select font, styles, and colors. You have your various drop-down menus. OneNote is a very useful application for putting together information you want for either a trip, for an entry, for a journal. It's a great diary type application too because you literally can put whatever you want in it. It's, it can be used like a digital scrapbook because you can put images, collages, uh, files, videos. Um, I highly recommend OneNote. It's not like other word processes or applications. It's something unique and different and part of the Microsoft Office 2010 suite. As mentioned earlier, I used OneNote for this uh, trip book for Agra, India, and I was very impressed with the amount of features that OneNote allows. It has a plugin which installs an Internet Explorer, which allows you to directly take snippets right out of the website and instantly include them in OneNote with credit back to the website. So this makes it easy to find what you're looking for, embeds the information in OneNote, and you can quickly go back and collect more information later. It literally lets you journal and chronicle anything you want in your life. OneNote is a unique application, highly recommend taking a look at it, it's part of Microsoft Office 2010. This is Justin Germino talking about Microsoft OneNote, which is part of Microsoft Office 2010.